It's Monday, May 4th, and just real quick, wanted to take a look at the raspberry plants. My friend Phil texted me and said that his are showing signs of life, so Stephanie and I came out and looked. And it's tough to see, but there is a little bit of a leaf coming off of that cane at the top. And if you look at this one, right at the base, there's another like new cane coming up. So we're seeing some signs of life. So that's uh, really exciting. We know we won't get any berries this year, but it's cool to see that they're growing. It's Tuesday, May 5th, Cinco de Mayo. And uh, in 11 days, we have to plant our tomatoes outside. So it's time to start thinking about hardening these off, getting them a little bit of exposure to uh, sunlight every day and increasing that. You can see that the plants are doing really well and I need to raise the light. They're too close to it. Um, but yeah, I'm happy with how everything's growing. Over oh, there's uh, more tomatoes and there's a couple peppers on this side too. Peppers down here. And then our last pepper here. So uh, yeah, well, in the coming days, we'll get these some time in the sunlight, even though it's going to be cold outside, so that in uh, 11 days, they'll be ready to be planted permanently. It's Thursday, May 7th. And although it's pretty nice outside, a little cool, but pretty nice. It's, uh, it's supposed to be frost overnight. So we've got our wooden cover on this bed. This one, the chives are too tall to put the wooden cover on now. So we covered it with a big tarp. We weighed it down with some heavy stuff. Some bag of soil, bag of peat moss, or something else in that corner. And the uh, long bed, got a couple buckets of water, some rocks, <laughs> a planter with a dead plant in it, a watering can that's full of water. And this is actually greenhouse fabric or plastic. So that should be a pretty good protection. We don't have anything to effectively cover the raspberries. So those will be left to their own devices. Uh, they're in the rose family, so that's not, not a good thing, but there's really nothing we can do. Uh, so it's supposed to freeze, or not freeze necessarily, but at least have frost the next two nights. So we will uh, we'll see how things go, and we'll check in afterward. It is Friday. May 15th. It's very nice outside today, about 70 degrees and sunny. Uh, as you'll recall, there was a cold spell last weekend and we had to protect all of our plants. Uh, but that's over and now it's nice and warm. So I wanted to just show you what's going on here. Okay, we've got a couple cucumbers. Oh my goodness, the focus. We've got a couple cucumbers in the middle of that plot with radishes around them. That one is arugula. Sorry, it's focusing on the uh, chicken wire. This is one of our cherry tomatoes. This is a different cucumber with radishes around it. Uh, this is buttercrunch lettuce. Oh, sorry, no. Black seeded Simpson lettuce. Chard. These are carrots, pak choy, these are beets, oregano here, kale, these are other, whoops, these are other beets, butter lettuce, more beets, romaine lettuce, and scallions. Okay, over here we have green beans in the first cell. This is kind of collapsing, whatever. Spinach in the next two. Sun gold cherry tomato. More beets here. Lots of beets. Uh, carrots in the next cell, just barely growing. Buttercrunch lettuce. Our other kale plant here. These are scallions. More beets. 
more beets, lots of beets, and a weed. Uh, this is kohlrabi, our Vienna purple kohlrabi. This is romaine lettuce, more kohlrabi, scallions here, and then our chives, perennial chives, growing really well. Okay, here in the big bed, uh, this is pak choy. Got some lettuce back there. They're actually marigolds along the side here. Black seeded Simpson lettuce. Uh, I don't know what this lettuce is. And there's chard right here. This is our Roma tomato. More lettuce. More lettuce. Right there in the middle is our Brussels sprout plant. <laughs> Very small. Uh, that is arugula. And then over here, these are all our peas. And we're going to put like a sort of a cone of bamboo stakes up for those to climb on. More pak choy here. Radishes over there. More lettuce. More lettuce. More marigolds. Uh, way over there, there's a little bit of chard. And this is our brandy wine tomato plant. Okay, over here, we've got a boin raspberry. It's growing, it's looking good, happy with that. This is a latham, not really much action here yet, but that one's, it kind of tipped over once, so I think it's a little bit behind. And then another boin. Uh, if you look really, really closely, there's a little bit of growth on the stem, but it's hard to see. Latham, same thing, you'd have to look really close, but there is a little bit of activity. Another boin, and a latham, clearly active but no new canes yet there. Okay, real quick. We're gonna check out these bushes that Stephanie planted. I forget what this is. Oh my goodness, forgive me, but it's looking great. Here's a nine bark. Looks really good. Another nine bark. This is a dogwood. Yeah, I don't know what to expect from these. It's kind of growing slow, but it's alive. This is another dogwood, which is dead. That one died right after we planted it. I think it was too close to the exhaust of the uh, air conditioner and the uh, dryer. And this is a, I, I think it's a service berry. Pretty sure it's a service berry, forgive me. You can uh, fillet me if you need to. But yeah, everything's looking good. And, uh, you know, we got the flowering trees. It's a beautiful day. It's going to be a rainy weekend, but... Thanks for watching, and I hope uh, everyone stays safe and uh, enjoys the weather when they can. And we'll check in again in a couple of weeks. Take care.